Well, we'd uh, made an approach uh, by the Welsh Rugby Union to uh, celebrate um, the Majesty's patronage to the stadium and let the Welsh Rugby Union for the 60th year. And I suppose not long after the um, royal wedding, the palace wrote to, wrote to me and said that uh, Her Majesty prepared to sort of sit for the session and uh, we didn't have a great deal of time to prepare for it, so it was within about probably a month, I suppose, from the point of receiving a letter. Uh, so, you know, it was a rather sort of um, mixture of great relief and sort of excitement, I suppose, yeah, because it's a portrait that I've always, always wanted to do. Yeah, it was a very poignant moment for me, and I, I immediately started thinking about how I'd approach it and what ways I would sort of, um, what angle I'd go from. And, but I, it's, been, it's been things I've been thinking about, actually, for quite some time, about the sort of portrait I'd paint if, if, I, if I was to do it. I think it's the ultimate subject, really, for any artist. I have a lot of admiration for her, I suppose, and also that she represents so many things, different people. And I like that complexity in terms of what it means to people as a portrait. When I started the painting, I'd... I'd, I'd commenced with a couple of drawings from the sitting and then from there on I, I then had to sort of rely primarily on, on photographs um, that were taken over the course of the sort of period of time I was with her um, but I suppose I began by sort of using this I, I very quickly decided on the image I wanted to work from and it was one which I felt was quite iconic in terms of her shape and her demeanour and her mannerisms um, but then I also saw into some sort of insightful moments, which I don't, I don't suppose we one familiar with in public. So, um, so it was a combination, really, from the outset of, of capturing both public and private um, knowledge of her. You know, I was expecting to be quite a testing sort of situation in terms of being an artist and how you approach it. And I realised I had to sort of really just treat treat her as somebody which um, which I could draw on my knowledge of who she was and bring that into the sitting. Um, so I felt a bit comforted by that actually. That I felt as though I'd almost known her for quite some time. In any case, so I wouldn't say I was particularly nervous. I, I suppose I was more aware that I had this small wind of time I had to really make use of and get as much out of the sitting as I could. So in a way, it was it was the ultimate test in the sense that. Um, if I was going to buckle at any portrait, it would be this one. And this would be the one which I'd really, it would really challenge me and challenge my, you know, my integrity, I suppose, as an artist. <laughs> 